Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Iron Man video. So you remember in the end of my last video I said, oh, I only need to do pretty much this quest that I did in the end of that video to be able to do the Children of Ma quest. And I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that's pretty much all I need, Dishonor Among Thieves. But then I saw complete the Koshay's Troubles mini quest. I probably butchered that name. But I was like, what even is that? So I w looked into that, and apparently you need to have completed Blood Runs Deep to be able to even start that. And here you have that quest, and for that you need to complete Glorious Memories. And also, you must have claimed the reward for completing the Hard Fremenic Task Set. So already, we have to do quite some stuff, and I really want to get this done, by the way. So all of this we are going to do. And then I headed over to Glorious Memories, if I can find that real quick. There we have that. And I have to do even more quests, I have to do a Mountain Daughter and the Fremenic Isles. Now that's actually quite a lot of questing and overall just do the task as well, the all the hard Fremenic Isles or Fremenic Trials uh, tasks. So that's going to be quite a lot to work on and I think I might spend a lot of this video doing that, most likely will, uh, because it will take some time to do that. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into this and hopefully we can get some PVMing or some juicy stuff in at the end as well. Alrighty then, that is the Fremenic Isles completed, it wasn't too bad at all, it's just mostly talk to this guy, talk to this guy, you know, the standard questing in RuneScape, and then some PVMing at the end, which was really, really short. So anyways, do you guys remember the uh, Helm of Natus Knot that you get from this quest, by the way? And I got one quest point and 20,000 constitution experience, but do you guys remember this helmet? Now, if you had this helmet back in, like, 2007, you made it. Come on, man. You, you made it. You're done with RuneScape. You're like the sickest PVMer in the game. Not really, but it was like the pinnacle of cool helmets, in my opinion. Like, even though I might have been a huge noob back in the days, I remember doing this quest and getting this helmet, like, back in 2007 or 2008. And I was like, dude, I made it. My carriage is done now. I have Fighter Torso, Helm of Nate is not, man. I'm ballin'. Now, the reward for the Mountain Daughter quest suggests that this is a very low tier quest. I don't really know what quests are like the top tier quests, except like Ritual of the Majorat and World Wakes, the obvious ones. But this one is obviously a low tier quest, and it's kind of funny because on my old main account, I have like 176 quest points, so there's a lot of quests that I never completed, and this is one of them, and it is kind of fun to do these quests, like, I thought they would be a pain in the ass because questing overall is not my strong suit, but I think they're actually not too bad, it's mostly talk to people and, you know, just using guides makes it so easy, but anyways, that is the Mountain Daughter completed, and let's do Glorious Memories now. So I just completed the Glorious Memories quest, and as you guys know, the experience you get from these quests are not that great, but Blood Runs Deep should be giving me some sick-ass experience rewards, because that is a way higher tier quest than the ones I've been doing. But first, I need to do the Hard Fremenic task set, and I have honestly no idea how many parts of it I've done. I don't know if I can go into here or something and see, I don't even know. I never ever do these task sets. The only one I've ever done is the tier 1 one for the quiver, and also being able to hunt the Grenwalls without the meat. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I might have already done a few of them. Uh, you won't get any rewards, I think, if you only complete the hard one. You need to do the easy one, the medium one, and then the hard one. But I'm going to complete all the hard ones, and then let's see if, uh, you know, I, I get it done, or if I still need to do all the other ones, for the quest at least. Nice, we're going to do actually something fun for a bit. We're going to do a hard clue scroll and elite clue scroll in just a second. And the reason why I'm actually killing these mithril dragons where I got them from is because I need to get one chewed bones and use that with arctic pine logs on the raft thing of the barbarians. And uh, that will complete one of the tasks. So uh, yes, I did get a hard clue scroll and elite clue scroll almost back to back. You can see that in the chat. So let's complete them and see what we get. Alright, so let's start with the hard clues, go and see what we get, and we can reroll it, 89k for sure, reroll that into, oh, that's a stole, I think, yep, Samurai stole, I actually, I, I don't know if I have that, I might have it, I'm just going to check after this, but anyways, let's see if uh, we get something good from the elite one, what? That might be the worst elite I've ever had, not in, like, coin values, but how is this even 200k? These teleports has to be worth quite a bit on main account, because this is the worst ever. So the answer to if I already had it, yes I do have the Samurai stall, but now we have something at least to put in the bank, so that's pretty neat. 
All right, so we're down to the last requirement for all the hard diaries, which is bake a pie using magic. I've never done this before, ever. I never use the Lunar Spellbook, but I do have the runes and everything for it, so let's do it real quick and see if we finish this. That's a pretty cool animation, actually, and uh, there we go. Completed all the hard tasks. Now, I don't think I can get the rewards because I haven't done the easy and the medium ones. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to... Wait, uh, yeah, so I need to complete the easy tasks and then speak to council, worksman, whatever. So yeah, I'm not going to do that, but let's see if we have the requirements for Blood Runs Deep now. That's really all I wanted. Uh, hopefully it's going to say that I can... Oh, I'm already on it. Uh, so, must have claimed the rewards. Are you really kidding me? Alright, so I need to do the easy ones and the medium ones. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. It should be really easy, probably. As I said, I never really do this achievement diary, so I'm just going to show you guys now that I've completed the easy ones and then I'll show the medium ones what I get because maybe some of you guys haven't done it either and you might be interested in what you actually get. So there we go, that's the easy one gained and well, I don't know what these boots really do. I think, isn't there something I've seen people like have the, maybe the higher tiers of these boots and they like note the Dagonoth heights or the bones. I think it's the bones that you get from Dagonoth Kings. I'm not sure and I've no idea. Yeah. Oh, only 5,000 experience. I'll put that in herb lore or something like that. That's pretty neat, but I'll do the medium one and then I'll get the reward for that. Now, this is all the medium ones completed and you apparently don't get all the rewards from the same guys. So I'm just going to talk to this girl and get the medium reward. And after that, you have to go over to Miscellanea and talk to someone there for the hard rewards. But anyways, that is the medium rewards. I don't even know what I got. I got an experience lamp. That gives 10,000. Let's see how much we get for the hard one in a second. But uh, maybe they upgraded my boots. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, th th all I could see was an experience lamp. So we will have to see what the hard one is going to give us. And yes, I do know that my approval rating is just horrific to even look at. But I don't even have any money in here right now. I probably should. But uh, yeah, I don't have anything in here right now. So I'm not really keeping up to date on this one but anyways let's get the reward i think we should be getting some experience and yes the boots just keep getting upgraded all the time i'm not really sure what this is going to give me like the boots i might never use them really so it's not very important to me but anyways 15,000 000 blue experience not too bad and now we should actually be able to do blood runs deep yep everything is done high magic level and range is also recommended for sure i do have that but let's do this quest real quick Actually, before that, let's quickly get our 80k monthly reward from the Oyster. Oh, 180k. Well, just another one in the beginning at least. Close enough. So we're almost done with questing overall for the entire video, which is great. But that is Blood Runs Deep completed. A fairly long and annoying quest, but now it's done at least. And actually, the experience that you got from it was only combat related. Now, I'm not really sure what to put it in. I might just put like constitution or something. Actually, prayer is probably very good because that's quite costly. 150,000. And then, do I need to talk to him three times, man? What is this? This is some scam shit. Alright, so more skills, prayer again, and yeah, I'm going to do a mini quest which takes probably like two minutes to do or something. It is the small requirement left that I have for Children of Ma, and then after that I'll do the quest, and then we can- Oh, 96 prayer as well, that's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, I, there's just small mini quests that I need to do, it takes probably five minutes, and then after that we're going to do Children of Ma, and then we can try to get those ranged gloves, which hopefully I will be lucky with. Holy shit, guys. Woo! Alright, there we go, that's Children of Ma completed, and by the way, you might hear some birds in the background, I have no idea, it's pretty loud here, but look at the clock, it is 6 in the morning, and even in my country, it's actually 7 in the morning now, I have been grinding these quests hardcore, no, it's now it's now done. So it's feeling great, uh, no more quests needed to be done in this video and the near future, I hope, but that's 2 quest points and I'm 299. Really, one short of 300. But anyways, I think the experience you get from this is pretty crazy. 100,000 agility, 100,000 divination. I did get a level from that, actually. I did not get a agility level, but I'm probably pretty sh Yeah, 10,000 left. And now I can access the nightmare creatures, which is the ones that I really were interested in. Anyways, that is 82 divination. And then I guess... Oh, yeah, buddy. 300,000 herbler experience incoming for sure. So let's just put that real quick, and uh, I got this shaw, Shard of Maw, while equipped in the heart of Gilenor, all monsters are non-aggressive. What? 
and the maximum multiplier is 400%. I have no idea what that means. But anyways, that is that completed. And also 94 herb lore. Pretty neat. So two levels from that. Super pretty restores. Alright. That is all the questing done for this video. And I'm gonna go to sleep now. But the next clip is probably going to me be me, <laughs> if I can speak, trying to kill nightmares. So let's see how that goes. I'm just quickly going to assess these creatures, not on experience gain, but how they look and what the drops they give. Now, I think for an Iron Man, this is crazy good, because the rune items it gives is huge alkyballs, like 80k per drop every time you get rune 2 age, and it's actually not very rare to get that, so it's really nice. And then, uh, you can kill them pretty much with soul split and uh, deflection prayers if you just swap. There you go, rune 2 age drop again, it's really really common. And then, obviously you get these energies, which also help out with invention for the charge. Everything is just pretty good, and the uh, alkyballs overall is great. So, obviously the uh, drop rate of the nightmare gauntlets is higher if you are on a slayer assignment, and I could not get one. I actually just spent 400 points and I had 500 overall trying to get an assignment and I did not. I did uh, end up getting 54, 56 rune dragons though, which is really cool. I've never killed rune dragons ever, so that's going to be interesting to do. But I'm going to be here for a bit and see if I can get the nightmare gauntlets even though without an slayer assignment. But I, it's, I can't promise it, but we will have to see. So I'm actually going to end it here on 202 kill counts, you can see that in the chat right here, and I have currently 2.4 million cash, and also these are worth a shit ton and they drop very frequently as well, 120k each, so this is like 360k, 400k with display body, so like 2.8 million, and I think I started off with like 400k in the money pouch, so 200 kills gave me roughly 2.4 million. That is very good, because this wasn't nearly as annoying as I thought it would be killing these. Like, this maybe took me roughly one and a half hour, I would say. I think one Vampire Zamora and... Yeah, the penance hour is almost over, but I was very AFK this hour, so yeah, about one and a half hour for pretty much 2.5 million cash. Not bad. You guys remember back in like episode number 60 or something when I caught 5,000 raw sharks by fishing and then I cooked 3,000 of them and I was like, I'm never going to use this many sharks in PVMing, come on, I'm going to have better food in the future to use. You know, the sharks is the only thing you use for like Slayer or something and I'm not going to do Slayer with 3,000 sharks, right? Well, the answer is, I did use all the sharks, as you guys can see, I have 16 left. And the answer is Ascension Creatures. You can see in the chat now, I've killed 311 with one prestige. Yes, I did actually recently prestige, and I still don't have the Quintus Signet, but uh, it's pretty cool to have my first prestige in any creature. But I'm actually going to end the video here, because what I'm going to be doing for like the past day or something is just cook all these sharks as so I have sharks again for a long long time because I used 3000 sharks since pretty much episode 60 as I said. So anyways, uh, as I said, I'm just going to end the video here. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. And yeah, I know it was a lot of questing and all that, but I felt it wa like it was necessary to progress my account a bit. I almost have 300 quest points, which is really cool. I think I can block another Slayer creatures when I get that. So that's pretty neat as well. Some extra things, you know, for my account. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, take care, guys. I hope you did enjoy it and see you in the next one.